In this video, I'm going to be refining the details. So let's start from this back end. And here you can see in the back area, we have not you know, spent a lot of time. So let's go to a backside image. Here, here you can see again in the back area, we have something like bevel kind of uh, edge. So let's select this loop and let's bevel this. Okay, so let's select these things and let's bevel this. Okay, maybe a little bit more kind of this. And let's do the same thing here with this edge. So let's select the whole loop there and bevel. I think that's fine. Okay. So this is good now. Now let's add some details or supporting loops to you know hold these shapes. So you can see. Okay, let's press three to check it. Now you can see it's like melted. Everything is melted or you know smooth looking. So let's add some loops here. So I'm going to add loops here. Let's add one edge loop here. So to like. Okay, and then let's press three. Now you can see we have some hard edge there. Maybe I need to put some edge loops here as well. Something like this. I think I just delete this. Let's divide this and move this. Let's make it a little bit you know, rounded looking. Okay. And I think now let's select all these faces, extrude, offset. So I'm doing this to like keep this sharp thing. Now you can see it's looking better. And here I don't want this kind of you no know, roundness. So let's delete this line like this. And instead of this triangle here, I'm going to use multi cut and let's bring this loop till the end here like this and delete this edge let's do the same thing here and here you can see i have an incited face here because of this edge stopping here so i need to do something about that let's see in a minute so now you can see i'm going to do these things i'm going to refine these things so let's add one edge loop here to hold this shape. So let's add one edge loop like this. And again, you can see because of this triangle edges, it's not allowing me to like go to that side. So in this case, I'm going to use a new tool called the cut faces tool. Oh, sorry. Uh, I'm going to use multi cut tool. So let's use multi cut for a separate region here for a new region so let's uh, hold shift and drag from the outside like this so it's uh, projecting now, now i just need to merge this vertex so let's go to target well and merge now let's press 3 to check you can see it's better refining uh, now let's do the front thing if you check here this detail and you can see this little angle here so let's do that angle so i just need one edge loop here somewhere so let's add one edge loop here here maybe and it's going all around till here it's fine do the same to this side okay and then let's move this loop let's select both sides move it backward to get this this angle shape now i just need to put loops to hold this loop uh, this edge so i can do just bevel this loop so let's select and bevel and now i have to put two edge loops here and let's decrease it like this so now I have one edge loop at the center and two to the sides to hold the shape. You can see now it's looking good. 
and we need to do the same thing at the bottom here to match the shape but it's smoother than the top let's do this front uh, front details here so let's uh, before i do that let's i don't want this edge loop till here so because i don't have here as this side so either i have to put one edge loops there i think i have that uh, i want that so let's put one edge loop to this side as well like this and let's extrude all these faces extrude all these faces in order to do this so let's extrude all these faces so extrude and offset like this and now i'm going to i'm going to do one thing let's let's say this is the center line so let's connect that so let's go to multi cut and go to this side and connect like this and let's say this is the center here and here would be my circle so now let's count the edge here the border edge so this would be like 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 edges are there so i am going to do one very interesting thing which is let's take a polygon cylinder so let's go to create and polygon primitives and let's turn on interactive creation here and let's make this object live by just clicking here now this is a live object and let's turn on the wireframe on shaded by just going setting and wireframe on shaded so that i can see the wireframe now it's a live object and with create interactive poly interactive creation on i'm going to create a cylinder of this object so let's create a cylinder here and now i'm going to put same count here so let's count the edges again so here i have you no know, three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen edges so let's put 16 here so let's let me turn off this let's put 16 edges here so that i can match uh, and bridge here so now i'm going to you know delete all these faces from behind here and now the center pivot is here so i'm going to modify and center pivot to bring the pivot to the center of this piece and this is my cylinder here i'm going to hold v and snap to here just hold v and middle mouse click that on that area to snap to that vertex so now scale it as my size here so let's do something like this be a little bit up so here will be my you know my this nozzle here so let's snap all these points here so now let's hold v or you can turn on the snap to points and carefully snap everything because we have same count it should you know end of exactly matching with the cylinder so let's carefully snap all these vertices not the cylinder vertex but this gone gone vertices some more here this is the last one select snap and this is the center one so let's select and turn off this let's just bring them down to make that line straight okay now i don't need that no cylinder anymore so here we have the round shape there now i can just easily let's select all these faces here let's hold tab and paint drag the mouse to select now i have this piece let's extrude give it offset little bit offset okay and then let's extrude this time inside move kind of this maybe a little bit sharp so keep that close to that edge and then okay, like this and again i can just use this to bring this piece again let's extrude and offset a little bit again so that there will be a little bit gap 
maybe something like this and then extrude again and this time i'm going forward extrude again going forward and it's you can see it's a little bit outside we have to check that from side angle you can see it's a little bit outside so let's see then let's extrude again again offset so need to extrude properly extrude again inside and i can put that there somewhere inside or i can even let's take that back so that you cannot see it something like this and let's give some loops to hold the shapes so let's bevel these two edges so let's bevel something like this and let's put some loops here to sharpen these edges and let's turn off this wireframe on set you can see we make that detail here a single piece if you want to you can like extract this piece as a separate piece and we can can put one edge loop there to hold that shape so do the same thing with this area just take another cylinder and we have a partition here so this side would be the cylinder here and we can easily use the same technique okay because it's the same technique so i'm going to do that in between lessons in the next lessons we are going to refining uh, you know the body a little bit more